Hello you guys, it has been a crazy busy week, well really crazy busy month over here, um, but I feel like things are finally all starting to settle, which feels really good because I feel it's getting back into a routine after all of that traveling. Um, but anyways, today I'm going to be using the Cricut to make some customized things for Leah's birthday, which I can't believe I'm even saying this, she's turning 20 years old. That just feels so crazy to say. Um, so yeah, I want to make her a couple of things and I'm going to send them to her since Sadly, she's no longer here. I'm sad that we won't get to spend her 20th birthday together, but I do want to customize a couple of things for her just as she has them on her special day. So first things first, I need to make a little coffee because I haven't had any today. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with, we're gonna make a little latte and then we're gonna get to making some things. project idea for her. This is actually the Cricut Joy Extra and so I'm planning on using this to uh, iron on some words to this for Leo's 21st birthday. This little top I know she'll love. It's also like the same month as Valentine's Day so I thought pink things would just be right on theme. I also bought her this tumbler and I'm going to monogram some things on here as well. So the first thing I'm planning to do is her shirt and I have the smart iron on, and I think I'm gonna use the white one. Let's see. Honestly, the red and pink is kind of a Valentine's Day vibe, but I think it like blends a little too seamlessly. So let's see. I also kind of like the black, but I think the white is honestly the best. So we're gonna go with the white, and then I'm just gonna go in design space and Put the words together, make sure I have the right measurements before I start cutting it out. So I just opened up Cricut Design Space, which is free and super easy to use. And I'm just gonna start a new project. So I already did the measurements on her shirt. So I know exactly what I wanna layer out here. I just need to verify what words I wanna say because I have a couple different ideas rolling through my head. Um, and I just wanna make sure I pick the cutest one, you know? Do the first day of my 20s that's so cute i need to load my smart iron on paper into the cricut the shiny side has to go down that way we can press it before i start cutting i have to select the type of material i'm using which is the smart iron on so once i have that i can click done load it up okay there we go. This thing is seriously so, so easy to use. cutest idea while I was watching this be cut out what if I got little t-shirts and then like had the cricket cut out words that said welcome home daddy and I put that on the boys t-shirts for when Nathan comes home that would be the cutest little welcome home from deployment thing and his little tiny babies would be wearing that I don't know it's just a thought I had um I still have Always to go before he gets here, so I definitely have time to order some little shirts and do something like that. That would be so cute. And it sends it out. Now that it's finished cutting, okay, now that it's done cutting, oh my gosh, I need to pick off everything that's not part of my design. the mat and I'm just gonna flatten out her t-shirt make sure I do the front 
Okay, those measurements were perfect. This is the first time I've ever used the Cricut Easy Press Mini, which is this little guy. So I went online to cricut.com forward slash heat guide, um, and it will tell me exactly how to use it on what materials. Constant movement and firm pressure for 25 seconds. Flip and press for 15. Here we go. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth and we're gonna slowly pull this up to see. <gasps> it worked. This is so cute. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna pull it off and I'll be right back. This turned out so cute. The first day of my 20s with a little sideways heart. Okay, that's perfect. I am going to set this one aside, let it cool off a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I'm just gonna take you along for our evening routine now. The boys have been super into pushing these carts outside and collecting pine cones. So we're gonna go outside and get all of their afternoon wiggles out. Their little legs can't keep up, so I usually put the carts in the bottom or hold the cart and they ride back. But I can't hold two babies and two carts, so this is what we do. Now they take their baskets to go find pine cones to bring back to their cart. We found some really good ones. This is so big. We made it to the park and this is everything they picked up on the way. Okay, we just got back from our little pine cone walk and I'm actually checking on dinner here while the boys are being sweet and independently playing. Whoop. I put this little pot of soup on this morning. I need to turn it down so it could just simmer all day because the longer it simmers, the better it tastes. It's almost time for dinner, so I need to go ahead and wash these potatoes, chop them up and throw them in so dinner will be ready on time. That needs to cook on low for the next like 45 minutes or so. Jeff dipped out the boys' bowls and let them cool off for like 10 minutes, but this is what they're gonna have tonight. Just some crackers, some soup, and then I'll probably give them some berries for dessert. It was definitely a successful dinner. They loved it and even asked for a second. Now for tonight, I have a date with this laundry and they need a bath before bed. And then after that, we're just gonna chill till it's bedtime. It is officially bath time over here, so I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Yeah, they need a little bath. We're gonna do some cozy PJs and then just their bedtime routine. Usually just go upstairs, let them get some wiggles out, and then I read them a night-night story. Thank you guys so much for watching this week, and I will see you in the next vlog.